Hello, we are in Los Alcatraz. And you can just see the arches just through there. So today's vlog is going to be Los Alcatraz on how all the construction is just taking a sudden boom. So I'm going to go to quite a few places where there's new buildings being built and I'm going to put some clips in of the prices of the properties of what they are now. So we're at the main island now as you can see, arches. I'm just going to go the other side of the arches in a minute because you've got a bar just there and then you've got another bit just down further down. So without further ado you can see how much the development of Los Alcatraz in Mafia has come along and you can see how prices have just shot up by at least five ten percent seeing a mo we'll be heading that way in a short while but just going to go through the arches and just show you what's changed recently so if you haven't been to los alcatraz for a while you'll see what's changed so that bar there used to be called the arches then last year it was la taberna it is now the corner which is rincon in spanish that restaurant over there which used to be called el abuela which is grandma in spanish it's now called la sombra so without further ado let's go and hit the construction sites so these are new these are the cycle crossings that have popped up recently and as soon as you press them they more or less change straight away uh, let's have a look everyone's stopping yeah and you get a little 20 second countdown timer and as everyone knows the cycling infrastructure in Spain is second to none so let's go and find some cranes so we're just cycling around by the church and as you can see this apartment block has popped up on the left here and this is the road from Los Alcatraz up over the motorway which is the N332 to Roda but that apartment block is all completed and as you can see they're still building another further probably four, two or three more maybe so we'll have a little look around and bring you up to date so as you can see this is the Roda San Javier Island let's have a look lots and lots of construction going on at the moment around here they're just popping up everywhere as you can see this house was a solo casa up until about 12 months ago so there you go have the nice views of the motorway <laughs> there we go three massive cranes just working away just gives you an idea of the infrastructure that's being built I will put some photos in so you can see what is actually going on there you go these are all completed all brand new it's a bit quieter this end compared to the other end that's what she said <laughs> but yeah still work in progress but looking good just don't look inland I'm not I'm pretty much sure you can probably see the Marmonor from the top floor just a little bit closer because when I was riding up I was over the other side of the road but that way in front of us is west and obviously the sun rises in the east which is over La Manga so there you go let's go to the next one all my concentration today will be around Los Alcatraz at least on your doorstep you've got little Mercadona 
Consum, Aldi. And the best way to get around here, everyone finds, is either on a bike or on those electric scooters, which is a Brucey bonus. That build is more at the end of Los Narijos, and we're heading down now towards the far end of Los Alcatraz. And we'll go and have a look. S the S Nuevo, which means this is new. This is just on the main road, right by the 525. I'm guessing there's a pool here. Yeah, you can just see through the gap. Let's have a look. You can see it is a construction site. So if I can put my camera there so you can see. I can't see personally, so hopefully you can. But yeah, this is a, a little cheeky sneaky apartment block that's popped up on the main drag. So the 525 is just down there. And like I say, this is all new. Yeah, just about a third of a mile down there or however they say in kilometres here. So, let's carry on. Quite a few sites to visit this afternoon. So this is the other, the other end of Los Alcatraz. Not sure if you can see the cranes in the distance, but we'll do a complimentary loop of the island fountain. There we go. Right, we're gonna to head towards Serena Golf and show you what's going on over there. It's all kicking off. Looks like all this is being cleared. Ready for the next phase. All this is normally just like a ghost town and all the Spanish always put the infrastructure in first with the street lights and electrics, electric boxes like this one here. And then they build. Okay, back in a moment. So, as you can see, Serena Golf, this is all being built, includes a garage, pool and garden. I don't know what Trastero is, but one, two and three bedroom. Bedroom is dor dormitorios. Um, apartments of one, two and three. 72,900 euros. Right up the middle. So there's the N332 to the AP7. And as you can see, this is right on the edge of the golf course. Looks like they're building some single floor apartments and, a, and an apartment block as I just go through a load of glass. Sensible. But yeah. They've obviously had the siesta and the Weetabix and they're carrying on. Here we go, this is what it's going to be. Let's have a look. So that, there, is going to be that. Let's go and have a look at these apartment blocks. So it was about, about 18 months ago, these apartment blocks here, I think it was the first two or three were occupied and all the rest were empty. And these are the ones that I had a little nosier around. You could see on all the landings where they'd ripped all the cables and pipes out and obviously tatted them in for scrap and you could get underneath them and slowly, I'm guessing as investment has come in, they have refurbished them. So quite a few of these, the, the view from the other side of this, which is the golf course side, is absolutely amazing. And I think it's the last couple that are waiting to be completed. As you can see, there's works going on. You used to be able to ride under the car parks and pop out the other side but I'd say there's one more apartment block left to do as you can see so they're all done up to this one 
I would say, yeah, you can see up there where all the cables have been ripped out, so like it was on all the others. So there's one apartment block here, and I think the last one is just here on the corner. Yeah, still open, so you can still get in and have a look. Back to might do. So yeah, on the corner here. Got to be careful though, because there's people down there. Let's have a little nosy. When in Rome, speak Romanian. Got so much glass everywhere. This my bike up. Just in case. There you go. When I came here the other time, there was actually somebody in one of these. I could see they're washing. But there you go, there's the golf course. And eventually, there will be a swimming pool here. How about that? There's the building site entrance as well, where they're all working. Gonna have a little look at the pool. Why not? Bloody hell. It's a little well dodgy. Yeah, this will be a pool eventually. Some nice views from up there and over there. Ah, I like that. I'm going to get back to my bike and make sure it's safe. Been up there again, that's what she said. Right, let's head to the next destination. So, there's the view of those apartments. Just get past these trees and bushes and the fly tipping. Yeah, there you go. That's what you see. Let's see if we can chuck a little bit of cross country in for good measure. Oh, top man, thank you. See where this goes. I've always gone the opposite way. Now let's see. Oh, there's the cranes I need to be heading towards. So let's pick up a little cheeky XC and then chuck a right. It's quite nice. I might be back on my full suspension bike back in the UK soon, I think. But the weather at home is shite at the moment. Absolutely shite. We're only in April though. So, April showers and all that. Nice little track this is. Keeps going and going. So much better now I've got these forks from home on this bike. The other Entry level ones were painful. I'd have rather have gone for rigid <laughs> because most of the time I had them locked out. But the beauty of these, they're very plush 
on suspension. It's only 100 mils travel, but it's perfect for here where I am. I think coming towards the end now. Oh, not of the vlog, obviously. <laughs> Still got a few more places to visit. But this little track ends in a moment, so I'm going to head towards those cranes. See what's going on over there. Got Richie's house. This is about a mile or so out of Los Alcatraz, heading towards Torrepaccio. And this is where you can see all the cranes in the distance on the horizon. I think it's called the Rosalina Resort. Santa Rosalia. So, let's go and have a look. See if we can get in and have a, a perusal. Not too sure if you can, but we'll have a look. Right. Gracias. Right, let's go and have a look. We've got the go ahead. Estoy yo sola Miranda. I'm just looking. Wow, how about that? There's the show apartment. Jeez, this is going to be huge. I think there's going to be a massive lake in the middle of it. Like a water park. But there's some nice ones over there. They look like they're already done. Right, back in a mo. See all the cranes ready for construction. Which way do I go? So these are all work in progress. That's, a con that's part of the construction site. I don't want to get in trouble on there. Let's have a look. If that's your thing, modern looking, not rustic or traditional. As long as I don't get in trouble, the bloke said it was okay to have a look. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I'll probably get told off for where you think you're going. A hive of activity all over there as well. I'm trying to work out where the lake's going to be. Oh, I can see it, I can see it. We'll get around there in a moment. Here we go, a few little apartments here. Have a look at these. I bet all the infrastructure for this was in already. Nice little plunge pool there. I suppose that's optional, optional extras. Nice roof solariums. Here's the water. Aki. S. Agua. Wow. Look at that. It's not very warm today. It's warm out of the water, but not in the water. That is amazing. Hopefully you can see. Lovely colour blue. Wow. Let's carry on looking then. I'll try and get a better view of the water from up here. Just got this little path and you can see better. Got my bike down. Sorry. There you go. Muy azul, very blue, or azul. Oh, this is like a beach bit here then. I can hear people over there. So people are living in, living in the apartments already and townhouses. It's obviously still work, like a say in progress. The birds, the vultures are circling. <laughs> oh, geez, there's nothing alive in there. I'm guessing they're getting it ready for the summer season. It's going to be buzzing. I was brought up on a building site. <laughs> I wonder what they're going to put in all these dips where it's just barren land at the moment. I'm guessing they'll just turf it, put grass on it. Here we go, another little angle of the lagoon, I think they've called it. The Blue Lagoon. Nice little beach volleyball going on here. If it's anything like the sand on the Marmonor, it's like builder sand. Oh my god, it goes all the way around here as well. Wow, it's huge. 
Oh, well, la, 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 la. let's have a look around here then. Lifeguard spots here as well. Oh, there's another viewpoint. So let's go up there and have a look. Another man-made beach. There we go. There we go. I wonder how deep it is. And I'm not going in to find out, by the way. <laughs> La Reserva Beach Sport Club. So that's obviously where you can go and have your um, your lunch. I'm absolutely amazed. This plot of land is huge. Carry on exploring. I like exploring. Well, it actually looks like it's open because people are eating there. So. I am guessing they're trying to get the trade in. But I bet you summertime this is gonna be heaving. It's like a British summer day today. 24 degrees, sunny and cool. Nice breeze though, absolutely lovely. Okay, let's go and have a look down there. These are all very nice. Nice little cheeky plunge pool. Looks like they're just filling it up. Water's going in. I'll be ready to move in on uh, Monday week. <laughs> Very nice. These are going to be the expensive ones. Absolutely. I think they've all got pools. 24 hour security as well on the gate. Even better. Couldn't have asked for a nicer day to come and have a look around here. A few more cheeky little houses. Just through the slats in the fence, you can see the plunge balls. But these are all very nice. Nice price as well. Oh, they've all got the shutters on the windows like normal. It's a Spanish thong. Oh yeah. And I'm going to go that way and cut down to the left. But I hope you're enjoying all these. A little crane in the background. Very nice. <laughs> I wonder if I can get down the back, see, see if I can have a look. So this is how the kids get around. <laughs> <laughs> Golazzo! Okay, we'll go this way. <laughs> Class. Very nice. For sale, si vende. If it's sold, it's vendida. And that is it, guys. We are going to carry on to our next little bit. Well, Rich, you did say, if you go up and ask, you can go and have a look around. And you were right. SOS Correcto. That is correct. So let's go and find our next little bit to put on the vlog. You are now leaving Santa Rosalia. Please fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the squeaky creaky ride. That was good. Gracias, hasta luego. I enjoyed that. Right, next bit. All I do is just ride towards the cranes and then have a little look around, see what's occurring. So they always do the show home first, which is obviously this one, I'm guessing. And then when that one's paid off, they invest in the next one and it has the domino effect. So oh, it's still people working. There you go. Looks like single floor apartment blocks with roof solariums. Okay, there's a crane over there. Let's go and have a look at that badger. Oi, oi. Looks like some more going up here. Well, there's a crane, so you know what that means. We're on Calais, Los. Benedictus. That's easy for you to say. These are all existing and they're going to have some new neighbours. So with all this being built, 
you would think the infrastructure they'd put instead of just building houses everywhere they'd build shops bars restaurants the people have got to eat shop and drink and not in that particular order so obviously cranes over there let's have a little look up here see what's occurring that's unusual I can see a crane <laughs> okay let's go and have a look down here we'll do a right which is derecha in Spanish I know we can't go down there oh we can go down the next one though show house ah so this is Calais which means street or road Maestro Francisco Chumila so there you go and there's all being built and here's the show house so that's what they will turn into this very nice still working away I think yep there you go a bit more construction this is over walk towards Serena Golf Way as well all of those phases have been completed by the look of it but yeah they're going to need some shops and bars and restaurants around here else and they won't sell because you've got to drive quite a way to get to your needs so we are just approaching our last little bit of construction just here on the left as you can see the views are phenomenal so let's go and have a look yes quiera let's go and have a look then so that's the view you will have from these apartments infrastructure for the future not bad eh this is the front plot these will sell like hot cakes absolutely let's just grab my bike but look at that for views from these apartments and obviously it will be better because you will be arriba up but these people aren't too happy here <laughs> their view has suddenly become blocked especially on a day like today there you go the old obligatory crane of doom we call it cod the house of your dreams la casa de tus suenos there you go it's giving you an idea of what they would look like the single story these are two story aren't they there Whew. the house of your dreams I'm sure it will be and it'll be the price of your nightmares <laughs> Class. at least you'll have the back sun setting and obviously the sun rises over La Manga which is over there that's amazing isn't it that's it for today guys I'll just cast a shadow I uh, hope you've enjoyed this just a little update on the construction around Los Alcatraz in Mathia. Not much going on in Los Narajos. It's forgotten about, but which is nice. Don't get cranes and everything middle of the day. Banging, drilling, everything like that. Oh, that's what she said. Anyway, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Click subscribe, etc, etc. You know the drill, malarkey, blah, blah, blah. And I'll say, see you soon. Hasta pronto. Ciao.